Hello, thanks for stopping by StampsToDiveFor.com. My name is Patsy Wagner and I'm excited to share with you today another technique how-to. Hope you enjoy! Okay, let's get started with this week's technique how-to faux silk. Um, I think last week I told you that was my like favorite, favorite technique, but I really love this one and maybe it's just the whole color of the card that I fell, fell in love with because blue is one of my favorite colors. But I've taken, um, this is the faux silk that we're going to do today. And first we started with a four and a half by uh, 11 inch piece of cardstock and we folded it in half. We've taken um, some Soft Sky Designer paper which is in a stack. It comes 40 sheets, they're 12 by 12 and you get four different designs. Um, two of each design, so you get a total of 40 sheets in this uh, designer pack for like $21.95, which is a super duper bargain. Um, and we're going to just take a little snail and put on the corners here. It doesn't need much to hold the designer paper on. We're just going to put that on our, so our card is our mat. And we're going to burnish it. So there's the base of our card. Now we're going to take, I have a piece of Whisper White cardstock that's two and three quarters by four inch. And I'm taking the flower out of the Gifts of Kindness stamp set. And I'm going to ink that up with our Soft Sky. And sometimes when I have a little bigger stamp like that, I find it easiest to actually ink the stamp versus putting the stamp on the ink pad. And we're going to stamp that on our Whisper White cardstock like that. Now we're going to let it dry for a few minutes because um, we're going to need to apply some glue stick to the whole front of this card. It dries pretty fast. So now we're going to take our glue stick, our Anywhere glue stick, and we're going to rub this. This is the perfect median. Our ink doesn't bleed with this glue stick. Um, we can run it all the way across, and I just put a piece of typing paper under there to keep um, our paper from getting all full of ink. Now you're going to take regular tissue paper, wrapping tissue paper, and you're going to roll it in a ball, and then you're going to gently unroll it like this. And leaving the wrinkles in, you're not going to flatten it out, you're going to just push it over Tap it on here like this, and I do take my little bone folder and rub it across here like this. Now you will notice that uh, you don't want to, you know, iron out all the wrinkles, so you're going to leave it like that. And then once you get it to this point, you're going to just take a scissor. Grab my bigger scissor for this. This is my ultimately favorite scissor. If you don't have one of these in your stamp room, you really need to get it. I'm just trimming off the edges like that and then we're going to apply that to our matted piece which is um, should be about three by four and a quarter. Take a little bit of our seam binding in the soft sky that's a perfect match for our cardstock and again last week or the week before I can't remember I showed you again the bow and I'm going to just repeat it because you can never hear this too many times. 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock. Come down with your 12 o'clock. You're going to go up and through the rabbit hole. And then you're just going to pull the one to the left which is your 12 o'clock. And then you can adjust it with the right but that's how you're going to get a nice flat bow every time. People are always amazed at my bows but it's just a little trick I learned at a Stampin' Up! convention years ago. It's kind of like I knew how to do it, but I didn't know how to tell people how to do it. And they described it that way, the 12 o'clock and 6 o'clock. Now I'm putting, um, if you want to be a little stingy with your dimensionals, you can just put them on each side, but they're cheap. And you can always get more from me. But I also like to have the dimension on my card. So I'm just going to stick center this in here. 
You can see my mat isn't a little perfect. And I stamped thank you in basic gray with our itty bitties and then cut it out with our bitty banners framelits. And I'm just going to tuck this. I cut the little points off just so they wouldn't stick through. And I'm just going to tuck that up under the bow. And there we have this week's Technique How To Faux Silk. Uh, be sure and stop over at my blog at www.stampstodiefor.com and pick up your free little uh, stamp page tutorial of how to do this along with an image and also the supplies and measurements. Hope to see you there. Happy stamping! <laughs>